Hi, uh, well, today is Wednesday, April 24, 2019. It's my 28th, 29th video. I'm not sure which. I'll have to look. Um, although not in a row because I skipped a couple weeks because I just was not succeeding. And But anyway, I uh, succeeded today on keto. Um, and I had coffee for the first time in... A long time um, because I w I'm not a coffee drinker but I started drinking coffee um, when I was on keto for like nine days I was on keto and I had coffee during that time anyway today the coffee I think helped me stay on it uh, I think because it um, I don't know why maybe because it made me full um, I, I just in the morning, I was kind of craving stuff. Earlier in the day, I was kind of craving stuff. But after a while, after drinking uh, coffee for a while, I didn't crave it. So I'm going to keep drinking coffee. I don't put anything in it yet. Um, I know that people on, like on Reversing Diabetes on Facebook and uh, Christy uh, Honeycutt Sullivan, uh, they, have, they drink something called um, Bulletproof coffee I think it, they add like uh, butter or any fat to the coffee um, I haven't done that and I I don't know that I will but uh, it worked anyway um, let's see if the volume is up enough uh, I hope that didn't just change the volume on you but uh, uh, it seems like it's the volume isn't very high on this maybe because I don't talk very loud but um, so I hope you can hear me. Uh, of course, nobody's watching anyway. It's just me. So that's okay. Uh, but anyway, this is a reminder to myself that the coffee, I think, made a difference. So I need to keep drinking coffee. This is day one on keto, uh, Wednesday, April 24, uh, 2019. And hopefully this time I'll go longer than 9 or 10 or 11 days. I want to go every day from now on. Uh, knock on wood. So um, anyway, I guess... That's about it from here. I don't know. Oh, it's only a two and a half minute uh, video, which is fine. Um, I hope if anybody's out there listening that you're having a good day and that if you're on keto or anything at all, that you have success with it. Um, I'm hoping I'm successful. Um, and uh, I guess that's about it. I'm going to try again to videotape every single night and try again to stay on keto every single day and night and uh, see where it goes. Hopefully, you know, a week from now, two weeks, a month, a year from now, uh, I'll look a whole lot different, hopefully, because hopefully I'll stay on it and um, I'll feel a lot different. My blood sugar has been so crazily high, you know, in the 400s, the 500s, and um I usually have to take like, you know, maybe a hundred uh, units of Humalog insulin. Uh, today I took 25 and, uh, you know, it's my blood sugar was still a little high. It was in the low 200s, but um, uh, it's way better than four or five hundreds. So, oh, and I had a um, at home um, A1C test. I took one of those. And it was 8.7, which actually surprised me because the last time I took one was in 2013. And I think it was 8.2. But I've been um, a lot worse <laughs> in the last six months or a year on uh, keeping my blood sugar down. And, um, and I ran out of Lantus insulin, the long-acting one. I ran out of that like, I don't know, six months ago or something. So I've only had uh, Humalog, and so I expected my A1C to be like 11 or 14. You know, I see some of the people on Reversing Diabetes and on Low Carb, um, Christy Honeycutt Sullivan site, uh, saying that they were at 11, 14, 15, you know, um, <clears throat> and then staying on the diet got down to, you know, 5.9, which is amazing. I've never been anywhere near that. Um, so anyway, uh, wish me luck. I'm going to, um, try again 
and hopefully succeed for the rest of my life. And hopefully it's a long life. I mean, it's already been longer than uh, I'm 66. My mom passed away when she was 65. My dad passed away when he was 51. So I've already had kind of a long life, but I want it longer. I've got things I want to do. Um, so I'm hoping uh, that by staying on keto, um, I'll stick around longer. And um, anyway, I guess that's it. I'll talk to you tomorrow night. Thanks for listening, me, because <laughs> I don't think anybody's listening, and that's okay. I don't actually don't want anybody to see this uh, while I look as bad as I do. And uh, but maybe after a year, uh, it'll be nice to um, anyone to watch because they'll see the difference, and hopefully there'll be a good difference. Anyway, talk to you tomorrow night. Thanks. Mm, bye.